Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we are going to run a GR85. Now nothing's going to tap our last top, our last episode, which is where we uh, did the GR80 and got the perfect roll on those gloves. So uh, I haven't played past 84. Um, it's clearing me for 86, which is kind of cool. But here we go. 85. Now this is probably going to be Pretty tough. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't really changed anything about the build. Um, I'm still really kind of dependent on getting a Traveler's Pledge and the Ring to try to socket more legendary gems so that I can actually use them of course and get some more damage output because the damage is going to be the thing that takes us out dude i guarantee survivability is fine but the gems we need those or we're screwed okay this rift isn't so bad i'm a little unpracticed jeez i guess it's been a few days since i played I get to this thing where I'm like, well, I can't really play unless I'm going to try to push the GR, so I just don't until I have time. But then you get kind of stuck in this little loop of being unfamiliar with what you're doing, and it takes a minute to get back in the groove. But that's okay. Because playing Diablo, man, it's like riding a bike. Stuff just comes back to you. Alright, we're just going to kind of push back through these guys, see if we can get a group of them. Okay, those guys are really big. Yeah, we really need to find some elites. Oh, there we go. We need those purple orbs, dude. Try to stay out of the poop here. Or we're dead. I try to keep popping my prep and my... Uh, Vengeance. Just so it's up. Vengeance is going to help me get more damage output, of course. Shoots those little things. There we go. Now we're cooking a little bit better. Oh, thank God. Another floor. Please give me open field. Ah, uh, these ones are actually okay. These ones have a lot of corridors with a lot of dudes tucked in it. So, I'm okay with this map. Just gotta tumble through, find a hole, sit in it, and then just blast the dudes. Alright, let's move on. Ooh. An elite pack of boys. Oh, got a waller. That put a stop to me immediately. Little fan of knives. Tumble out, find a hole. So the rifts definitely are taking a lot longer. Which is why I get worried. Because in my experience, once you get into the 90s, each rift is kind of a victory and things just kind of slow way down, dude. Okay, let's go. Is this a power pylon? It is power. Ooh, go to boss. Bosses are good, dude. Don't want to stand in the middle of that. Get to the edge. Archers, I have a personal hatred for, so they're gonna die, regardless of the efficiency. All right, so far so good. Where'd we go wrong? Okay, we gotta go this way. Let's keep moving. Hmm. Yeah, we'll fight these guys. Why not? Time's okay, we're not totally scrapped for time. The bosses are still not su Oh god, chains. Chains are sleepers, dude, just like the Explody boys. You don't want to be anywhere near that. Just get out, get some distance. Stay back. Whew. Those guys can get pretty tricky sometimes. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day today. Sometimes you just settle into the GR and there's nothing to do but just grind it out, you know? 
Now that all the E3 stuff has ended and all the Nintendo announcements have been said and there has been a ton, uh, April was a really big month for the Switch, right? There was like a ton of titles and everybody was super stoked. And then it's kind of cooled off. Uh, June's kind of slow, but uh, July. July is the big one because we got the Marvel Alliance game, God Eater 3. Uh, does does Damon X Machina come out in July? That might be August. Anyway, there's a lot of titles. I know on my pre orders it's like. I think I'm gonna be pushing like 200 bucks for July. It's brutal. But hey. That's the gig. I struggle with it though, like, as a content creator, I guess, if that's what I am now. Um, you gotta kinda make a choice, right? Like, some games you play for you, and then other games you gotta think, well, can I play them for the channel or not? And Diablo will always be a staple. But, uh, okay. Lots of nasty boys. How much do we want that pack to die? Too much, I guess. Is there a boss boy in there? There is not a boss boy in there. Just a lot of annoying ones. Alright, let's get out of here. And I generally try to maintain one game that I like to play for me, and then I try to decide which games I want to play for here. And a lot of the times I like to choose the smaller titles, that's kind of my shtick. A lot of indie stuff. I don't really focus on the big ones, and my growth shows it, but that's okay. I'm mostly just here to have a good time, chill. Like all of my descriptions say, you know, provide a little ambiance, dude. That's it. I always imagine people watching my videos by not watching them, but listening to them. That's why I talk all the time. I mean, people kind of hate that. Some some people hate that, and they don't watch. But that's how I like to consume stuff. I just like to put it on the background, get some work done. Nothing that I really have to pay too much attention to, but just kind of makes you feel like you're not alone. And when you get old, like me, and you have children, uh, you'll have people around you all the time, but it's still pretty lonely, dude. Still pretty lonely. Man. This is actually pretty fun. This is a good floor, dude. Look at them all. Remember, just rip that prep, that fan of knives. I don't think we're quite done with this section yet. I'm surprised that I haven't ran out of hatred. Of course, now I just jinxed myself. What is that? Channeling? Channeling's alright. We don't really have very many, like, reactive skills. So we're not really waiting for cooldowns all the time. We're just kind of pushing the button as it comes up, you know? But other builds, you definitely are. Like, if you're playing the, um... If you're playing the, uh... The Condemned Crusader, for instance, like I did. Or the Barbarian, even. You definitely like your channeling. Helps you keep up all of your monster stuff. For the Crusader, it's the... Skill that lets you bomb stuff all the time around you, and if you're the Barbarian, depending on what build you're playing, you might be Hammer of the Ancients, or something else that's crazy, you always want your Berserker stuff going. But for this build, it's autopilot, dude. It is 100% positioning, that's it. Stay out of the poop. Don't get too close. Find the pockets to stand in. And, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Did I just pop my resurrection thing? I might have, dude. I got trapped in there. Oh, we're about to pop the Rift Guardian. Okay. Stay out of those things. We definitely don't want to be frozen. Watch out for the molten. Oh, he's here. Alright, so. Let's see. Yeah, he's taking a few hits, dude. 
Oh my god. We're not getting our bonus for the first hit. Actually, hey, we'll just stay up here. No problem. Oh, now we run out of hatred. We died! I can't believe it. We just got lazy. That's what that was. Tumble out, dude. This guy surprised me. I don't think I fought this guy very often. Well, that was lame. Okay. I see an amulet, and I see a ring. Believe. Both socketed, both perfect rolls, both ancient legendaries. Right? Hey, stop talking. We got stuff to do. Uh, we're still going to upgrade. You know what? Let me take a look. I know Swiftness is one that we want, and of course Bane of the Trapped, but what is the other one? Take a look. Shadow and Pale Push. The gems we want are Bane of the Trapped, Gogok of Swiftness, and the Pain Enhancer. Okay. So Swiftness is at 25. Let's start working on Pain Enhancer. Critical hits cause the enemy to bleed. Attack speed for each bleeding. That's gonna hurt. I'm a little scared to use too much attack speed because of our uh, hatred generation, which is non-existent. But hey, we got a rank 3 uh, pain enhancer. Do we have anything to put it in is the question. Let's see. Man, that was sloppy. can't believe I died. Alright, let's take a look. The RNG gods... We used all of our luck on the last one, which sucks. Ooh, Odyssey's End. The Shard of Hate? I've never seen that before. What's that for? It's a sword. Okay. Elemental skills have a chance to trigger powerful attack. Okay. Well, that's kind of neat. It's like a necro weapon, it looks like. And then Odyssey's End. Enemies snared by your entangling shot take 24%. I guess if you're loving. All right, um, what do we want? That is not what we wanted. How about a ring? Give us a ring. An ancient legendary for the damn season that we're running. No upgrades there. No upgrades there. Paragon levels, we got a few. Well, that's the GR85 died at the last minute so it wasn't a perfect run but as long as you finish it I count it dude so next time when we return we're gonna try to see if we can what's it gonna take yeah it's gonna take a couple runs before it lets us do a 90 be good to each other and I will see you guys back for the 90 take care